hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time stopping by you're welcome and thank you for stopping by my name is susan and please please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join this wonderful family in today's video i'm going to show you how i prepare these cassava leaves it's actually sierra leone cassava leaves yes just ignore the pot i know the pot is all messy with cassava leaf but yeah as you all know cassava leaf is very very rude very very rude <laughs> Yes, so let's get So this is what I'm going to be using to prepare the cassava leaves. I have green onion, I have sesame seed, I have palm oil, and I have peanut butter. I have my chopped onion and bell pepper and I have my fried chicken it's already cooked and fried and I have my garden eggs and I have fish and of course I have the cassava leaves yes I got these cassava leaves from the Asian store and I have my meat and I have my maggi cube and mackerel canned fish yes I have jumbo shrimp and onion and I have my crepe canned fish. So yeah, these are all the ingredients I'm going to be using for this recipe. I'm going to start by boiling my meat for five minutes. Some people boil their meat and then fry it later. But as for me, I'm not going to fry my meat. I added one cube of Maggi and then add my chicken stock and leave it to boil for five minutes. After five minutes, I come back with my garden eggs and add my garden eggs and leave it for 3 minutes to cook with the meat. Garden eggs is optional, it's not a must. But as for me, I like cooking garden eggs when I'm cooking cassava leaves, when I'm cooking potato leaves, I like adding garden eggs. So it is optional, it's not a must. But I leave it for 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, now I'm going to add my peanut butter. I actually mix the peanut butter with water just to make it more easier to cook because when you just put it like that, sometimes it takes a long time to cook. So I'm going to leave the peanut butter to boil for 5 minutes. I'm going to leave it to boil for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, now I'm going to add my sesame seed, which is the ogiri and the palm oil and then leave it again to cook for another five minutes
and again the green onion is optional in africa we cook green onion for the smell but here <laughs> yeah it's no smell but i just like cooking it yes i just like cooking it so it's optional too if you want you can add it or you can leave it guys this is tola i don't know the english name but i think the english name is tola too but you can put okra either the fresh one or the dried okra so this is the last thing you have to put when cooking cassava leaves this is the last thing you have to put guys oh my god as i'm editing this video i'm still smelling the cassava leaf the aroma that is coming from this cassava leaves is just awesome. Guys, just go ahead and give this recipe a try and then thank me later. So, I'm done with the cassava leaves. This is the final look of the cassava leaves. As you can see, even your eyes can tell you that this cassava leaves taste yummy. <laughs> yes. So, guys, if you have not yet subscribed, please do so now. Just pause the video go and hit the red button and share this video and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up thank you for always watching my video if you are that old subscriber and you are always stopping by thank you i appreciate you thank you very much bye bye until my next video bye Thank you.